So when you're talking about where is the cheetah, you have one way to do it, which is to place the coordinate system. The second one, you place the coordinate system and you measure where the object is in that frame. Hmm. But let's see what we just did here. This is the distance. Then we have the x part of it. We have the y part. And since it is a coordinate system, this is going to be a right angled. And let's put in the numbers here. This was 2 meters, and this was 0 0.5 meters. So now we can say how far away the cheetah is at time zero by measuring the hypotenuse. So how do we measure hypotenuse? We're going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, if you recall, this c squared equals to a squared plus b squared. All right, let's try to calculate that. Let's put in our numbers. A could be 0 0.5 square plus two square. Let me take on my calculator. Let's hopefully get this correct. 4.15. Then I need to take the square root on both sides. So 2.06. Okay, so the distance that the cheetah is from our chosen coordinate from the origin itself is 2.06 meters. But that should be somewhat troubling because if you tell someone, A, I am 2.06 meters away from the tree, or more precisely in our case, the cheetah, A, the cheetah is 2.06 meters away from the tree. There are an infinite number of possibilities, right? This is 2.06 meters, or it could be below the tree, on the ground, to the left, on top of the tree, jumping. So in other words, just telling the distance from the tree is not sufficient information in physics. We need to find more information. So to fully describe where the cheetah is at any given time, time zero, we need to specify how far away the cheetah is, but we must also say in what direction relative to the origin. So two things, distance from origin, and direction relative to origin. So you need to know the distance from the origin and the direction relative to the origin. So the key point is that you have to choose your coordinate system wisely. Again, the most convenient, place it at the ground. So we finished the first part, we know how far away it is, now we gotta figure out the direction. Well, to get the direction, we go back to our drawing here, and notice that we can find this angle here. Let's call it theta, as it's unknown for now. Luckily for us, this happens to be a right angle triangle because of the coordinate system, the x plane, the y plane. So here we can just apply so toa. So so in other words, the sine ratio, cosine ratio, and the tangent ratio. Now the most convenient, we have all three sides, we could use any of them. But uh, my preference when you're trying to do these questions on your own, try to always use the tangent ratio. So let's use TOA. So tan of the unknown angle theta equals to opposite over adjacent. So tan theta equals to 0 0.5 divided by 2. So theta equals to the tan inverse of 0 0.5 divided by 2. Uh, let's calculate this. Roughly when you calculate it, it's about 14 degrees.
Good. All right, so let's try this again. Hey, where's the cheetah? Again, if you use coordinates, the x space and the y space, really easy. It's 2 meters to the right from the tree and 0 0.5 meters above. But there's another way to describe it. If we just say exactly how far away it is from the origin, which is the red line, and we could use that by calculating the hypotenuse using Pythagoras term, so 2.06 meters. But we can do better because, again, it doesn't tell you in what direction relative to the origin it is. So we use the 10 ratio to figure out the unknown angle. All right, great. So it's 14 degrees. Hmm. But that's still very unclear because 14 degrees could be what? 14 degrees from the right up, 14 degrees from the right down, 14 degrees from the top of the tree to the right, 14 degrees from the top of the tree to the left. So it's not very clear. This is where we looked at stars, or like as a sailor, you know, you want to figure out the directions. They often look at the stars. So here we have the golden compass, golden rose compass, some people call it, which is trying to tell us north, east, south, west. Hmm. So now let's fully describe the position of this cheetah. So position. This cheetah happens to be a distance of 2.06 meters. And now that we know the angle, we try to use the compass to help us out. So the notation that you're going to use is the square bracket. And there are two ways. I'm going to show you one now and we'll talk about the other one later. So imagine placing your hand starting east or to the right, east. How do you get to where the cheetah is? From where you start, you're starting east, and you have to rotate 14 degrees towards north. So we're gonna write first where we place our hand, east, the degrees we rotate towards north. So, Let's write this down, starting and rotate towards. Right, so we start east and we're going to rotate 14 degrees towards north, which makes sense now. So to describe the position of an object, we need to give its distance and direction. So let's write that down, that's really key here. So for the position, you need to describe the distance with direction. It turns out that this comes up again and again and again in physics where we describe the length of something or the amount of something and in what direction that something points towards. This is called a vector quantity. So the first letter that we're going to use to represent our vector is going to be the letter D. Now this is a new type of quantity. You need to do this with symbols. So you're going to add a little arrow here on top. Because it's a regular quantity for distance, but since it has a direction, the arrow head reminds us that. So let's go back and label this as a true vector. We need to specify its direction. So you do that with an arrow. So what is that conclusion? In order to describe where a cheetah is, its location or position, you need to get both the distance and its direction. And it turns out that this is a new quantity which we're going to be looking at, known as a vector quantity. So let's finish up with the definition of what a vector quantity is before we move on to the next part.